Hello everyone, welcome to my other video. First of all, I'd like to thank to all of you for 500 subscribers. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fetch data from an API in React. So for this, I would uh, like to use uh, the food to fork.com because it gives uh, 50 API calls for free per day. And uh, first of all, uh, you need to go to this website and click on browse and uh, you will get the get recipe option and you need to log in into your account and uh, I have already an account here so I am logging directly into create account first if you don't have so you can see after logging that uh, an API key is provided to me so uh, okay so you can see also that they provide uh, 50 free API calls per day so you need to open the local repository first and open terminal into that repository and just uh, write create dash react dash app and your app name for this i am just uh, writing uh, the app name as recipe so press enter and it will uh, install all the dependencies uh, into that folder so in case you don't know how to install uh, the react.js in your system just go to my description section it is given there so you can start the server uh, first of all you need to uh, enter to the recipe folder and then you can start uh, the server using the both npm and ear so i'm just uh, writing npm start to start my development server so uh, it's going to start the development server and you can see my in my browser at 3000 port the server has been opened okay now enter into the directory again and uh, open terminal and uh, open any text editor here so I am using visual studio code just so for this just writing code space dot to open uh, visual studio for this directory okay so first of all i am going to the browser and uh, for the console log just uh, clicking on right click and click on the inspect and choose console here i will show you the outputs so open the app.js inside uh, your text editor so i'm not going to change any of the uh, from then part so here inside the class just write state and uh, you need to declare two things here inside the state that is one is url and this url will get from the food to fork.com and they will provide uh, the 50 uh, free api calls per day and you can uh, get many of the api uh, uh, per day so just uh, see what i'm doing and go through it so copy this link and uh, copy the full link here and open the text data and paste it inside the url and you need to replace also the api key that you have been have been given so i'm just copying the api key and replace with your api key so now the you need to also declare the uh, an array where you need to store all the recipe details of what uh, the the data will be faced into this array so uh, here you just uh, need to write a component did mount because uh, it will run automatically so inside component did mount I'm going to uh, call a method that is get recipe and obviously I have to write this dot get recipe so now I am defining the method that is get recipe 
ओके आई थिंक आई नीड आई डोंट नीड टू यूज द एरो फंक्शन हियर लेटर ऑन आई एम सींग दैट ओके सो फर्स्ट राइट आई सींक सॉरी सॉरी इट विल बी हियर बिकॉज द फंक्शन विल रिटर्न दैट सो राइट हियर कॉन्स्टेंट डेटा and here just write await space and fetch and inside that just write this dot state dot url and this url uh, and from this url the data will be fetched and it will be converted into json data so write const json data equals to await data dot call the json method okay now uh, for uh, for the testing purpose just write console dot log and uh, and uh, just print the json data to check if it is working or not so write console dot log and inside that just write json data so first of all uh, you can check the all the things here that uh, they have given inside that uh, inside the api what they are providing so go back to the recipe api and scroll down i guess uh, where is this uh, okay now it is here so you can see uh, they will uh, give the output in this form okay so the json data will uh, give the output in my console in this form so going back to the uh, my text editor again so just write uh, inside the console.log the json data and save the project and go to the uh, my browser again and you can see uh all the data uh, there and you can see so i have fetched the data from the api successfully so in this way you can fetch the data from an api and you can also render it in your front end part so thank you for watching please click on the subscribe and uh, like button if you like this video Thank you.